Hello, Honorable Faculty Members. Welcome to my video presentation. At the very beginning of my video, I want to introduce myself. I am Mohammad Rasul Shardar. I am a I am a PhD student of Break ID, and also I am working as a fellow at Tishor Bangladesh. Today, I am very much grateful to all of my faculty members who have given me the space to represent something. Let's have a look at the topic first. Today, I will discuss about the rational planning model. and under this topics i will describe about the definition strength and weakness and finally i will share an example from my work experience about rational planning model in the definition we find that it's a it's a planning process which invites a number of rational action or steps also we find that it's a very centralized process and learns to practice in the government administration Grover Strahlin in 2007 in his book Managing the Public Sector defines five fact step of rational planning model like identify the problems design the alternatives compare the alternatives develop a plan of action and finally the feedback according to Strahlin there are also some strength and weakness of this rational planning model let's the strength first it is mainly goal oriented works on priority basis highlights on the feedback in the planning process also uh, prepares the organization environment for facing the upcoming threats and challenges now the weakness it is a very centralized process and no scope for the subordinate to change the plan it seems to be error in the sub, uh, if the subordinate subordinate change the plan you go up the top level planners if it's the whole activity it is a complex process and finally it's very time consuming process now i am ex- share my capstan experience which was uh, about same drinking water i was working at chota committee ji base it was one of the biggest school in this area and more than 600 students of this school and uh, like many school it has many problems now for identifying the problems we conduct a survey and after getting the result of the survey we talk with the school authority and then we collective said that safe drinking water would be our problem and we will work for that in our capstone project in step 2 we identify two alternative solution first one collect money and buy some filter and tanks for the school and second one to work collectively like awareness raising and involve all the teachers students parents and the community for solving the problem now step 3 in this part we compare these two alternatives on the basis of costing and sustainability and we come up with the solution that alternative 2 will be very feasible and sustainable for our capstone project in step 4 for developing a plan of action we i defined all of our actions in five steps like educate motivate activate advocate and outcomes and also we identified a specific action of, of every steps in specific task participants time duration materials and cost now the final step feedback and review our plan was checked and rechecked by your expert authority and this process was continued before during and after the implementation of the plan and finally we got some tremendous result for our school in practicing safe drinking water and i i love to share that reviewing all the activities and plan our organization announced that our project secured the top 5 position of 2009 all capstan project that's all from me thanks all of you for watching the full video